All right, so guys, today's vlog, we focused on something a little bit different. I started out the day with a completely different plan, uh, and then halfway through the haircut, realized that I didn't hit the record button, so totally screwed up the video. So I ended up going with something fun. Today what I did was I had some fun with the razor. We used the Donald Scott carving comb again. Uh, this is definitely the week of the razor. And uh, I used the orange haired mannequin, which you can see my hands are uh, stained and dyed. So here is the cut. We went with a mohawk feel, some fun orange hair color from Brian. The technique on the top to actually do the mohawk is really simple. And also going through the edges and the sides we did with a razor again so uh, really fun technique the versatility with this cut is definitely there um, so even though it's really fun out of the box and crazy um, I, I can't even say it's crazy it's really kind of tame at this point in in the world and in life um, but really fun haircut definitely enjoy the step-by-step -step video let me know in the comments what you think if you like this style of cut um, we can keep doing stuff like this maybe on Fridays we can have some more fun uh, so I'm excited for you guys to see it here we go with the step-by-step -step of our mohawk haircut okay so putting this video together I'm actually really excited to show you guys uh, this haircut it's really a fun technique and uh, it's even fun to section it out. So we're gonna start off by doing that. Uh, we're gonna take partings along the parietal ridge. Um, depending on the density of the hair, you may want to take this section a little bit skinnier or a little bit fatter. And really, depending on what type of mohawk you want, you would take it skinnier or fatter as well. So get creative with that. Um, we created that square, went pretty much a long parietal ridge on this mannequin back to uh, across mid crown. And then we create another rectangle shape um, below that. And that's gonna go down to the occipital bone. And then from the occipital bone down to the nape, we do uh, another ponytail. So the two ponytails, the one in the nape and the one right above occipital are directly off, but you can see the top ponytail is over-directed back. What that's gonna do is give me over-direction in the cut later on and prov provide me more length uh, in the front of the head. So we're gonna take diagonal forward sections to cut. We're using the carving comb from uh, Donald Scott. Again, it's available on Free Salon Education. Super cool tool. It's like 35 bucks, uh, somewhere around there, maybe 39. But uh, such a cool tool for doing razor cutting. Uh, we're using the 100% carved side for now. Uh, what that's gonna do is cut just like a razor, but these blades are super sharp, uh, really firm, and they just do a really good job of cutting. The other thing that's great is I'm gliding through the hair. Um, I've really fallen in love with this prepare uh, liquid tool glide. It really does allow the razor to glide through the hair because the hair feels so conditioned uh, while I'm cutting. So everything's being over directed straight out. I'm cutting it at a basic 90 degree angle following the head shape. What I want this to look like is pretty much a grown out mohawk. Um, I wanted this to have more of a feminine feel. Uh, it still could be feminine if you took it really short. The other thing with this is I am cutting it on a mannequin, so I do like to leave a little extra length um, because it can stick straight out from the head. But this, I like the the, uh, the freedom of this haircut and the length on the sides. I, I really dig that with this mohawk. So that's the sides. The sides are very easy, cut straight out at 90 degrees. Now we're gonna determine the length of that we want our mohawk. So I check the side length, see where I'm at, and then I just go in and I cut the ponytail, um, which makes this really easy. So it's it's really condensed cutting at its finest at this point. Um, so I'm gonna go in and carve off and get that length to where I want it on each ponytail. Um, you, what I love about this is you can really see the mohawk come to life uh, right in front of your eyes as you're cutting it. Uh, so you can see it right there. So I match up all my lengths. I'm happy with that. I comb out the uh, ponytails. And with that liquid tool glide, you can see how easy even the ponytails slip out of the hair. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'm going to do some point cutting now with the carving comb. So this is a really fun technique that you can do with the carving comb because both sides cut. So there's a 100% carved side, which we talked about. That's going to cut 100% of the hair. And then there's a 50% carved side that will cut 50% of the hair. Uh, that's great for adding texture and thinning. But when we go in to do this point cutting technique, all I'm doing is I'm elevating the hair. And then I'm shifting that razor back and forth on top of my fingers, just running it back and forth. 
and that's cutting on both sides. So it's not necessarily taking a perfectly straight line across. So that's why we consider it point cutting because you're just removing some bulk and adding uh, even more texture to the edges of the haircut. Uh, so you're going to see I'm kind of over directing. I'm taking out the heaviness on each side of the front of the haircut because we did over direct it back. There are heavy corners that are going to happen right at the recession point of the head. So just going through and, you know, taking off those corners helps with the overall look of the haircut. Now we're going in with our 50% carved side uh, of the razor. So that's a good look at it right there. So I'm just sectioning horizontally and then working through just sliding that 50% carved side down. And now I'm just gonna use the 100% carved side to take off the, the kind of tail part that happens in a mohawk. Now, some people like that, so you could leave it on. I tend to, I like it a little bit, but I like to have, um, I don't like it that long throughout. So now we're going to start to blow it dry. Um, especially with the mannequin, I'm going to do a lot more emphasis on blow drying the sides uh, forward and then the top back. So really just making the uh, root of the hair pliable, going in every direction. You could call this a flat wrap, but it's not really flat wrapping. Uh, what I'm doing is working back and forth, and I'm taking the hair and, and, and blow drying the heat and actually creating that volume uh, back on the head. So I want to basically create this mohawk shape without even putting any product in it whatsoever. So then when I go to put the product in, this is the uh, Carve Cream Wax from Bocado. Um, you guys can use any kind of like wax that you have um, to definitely check it out. This has a really light hold, so you're not going to, um, you would actually use some hairspray after this. But just going in and molding that up, you don't want to try to use the product to force the mohawk in. You want to blow dry the mohawk in and then just enhance it with product, which will help give it that longevity and hold. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this cut as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel and get alerts on all of our new videos every day at 10 a.m. All right, guys, thanks so much for checking out today's vlog. Make sure that you post in the comments below what you thought of the cut, also what cut you'd like to see in the future, and uh, hit the like, hit the share button, share it with all of your friends. That is the end of today's vlog.